Now, it's important to understand that how you're using server is expanding. Increasingly, people are leveraging server in-house and on-premise solutions and augmenting them with hosted solutions. And as Jack mentioned earlier, one of the things that we're going to support with ArcGIS 10 is the Amazon Cloud as a native platform for ArcGIS Server. This means you'll be able to run ArcGIS Server in the Amazon Cloud, giving you the benefits of immediate access to that information and the immediate access to the computing power available within that infrastructure, giving you an elastic infrastructure, allowing you to scale the system as needed so that if you have high demand, you can add more servers easier with lower costs because it's very cost efficient to be able to scale and use the system. Now, also one of the benefits for us is, as a GIS geek, is it's a lot easier to set up and configure because it's very much like an appliance in the sky, where I can just log in, say, I want one of these, and set it up. So my challenge this morning is for Evan Wells here. Evan's actually going to set up Amazon in the, in the cloud. And um, Amazon, or Evan, go. So what's going to happen here is Evan has to log into the Amazon system. Once he logs into the system, he can set up a new instance on the Amazon cloud. Now, these instances are AMIs, Amazon machines. These machines are, live virtually in the cloud. And when you set one up, it's set up with the operating system, the other applications you want. And one of these instances that he's going to choose from is an ArcGIS server instance in the cloud. This means it's set up, running with an ArcGIS server pre-configured on the OS. And he can configure access permissions and security for who can access and use this instance running on the server. Once the instance is set up, we'll actually be able to manage that instance. Now, it does take you know, between three and five minutes for these instances to spin all the way up. So we're going to use one that we've already set up. I'll give them the benefit of that doubt. And we're going to log into it. So we're actually going to manage our Amazon instance. But we manage it like we manage our servers now. It just happens to be the machine we're logging into is in the cloud. It's in the Amazon machines. So Evan's able to log into that server and start to configure it. ArcGIS server is already running. We don't need to worry about that. But we don't have any data there yet. So he's going to upload a little bit of data for hospitals around Afghanistan. And then he's going to configure the application so that we can publish this map to that server. All of this is happening remotely. None of this software is installed on his local system. Once he publishes this, that map service and the data are all hosted up in the cloud, and we're able to access that. So now, is that up and running? OK. So the service is now running. So we're back on Eben's local machine, and we're going to go to that Amazon instance and look at it with the default viewer. You can see the base map, and now you see the operational data of the hospitals being displayed. What this is, is we stood up an ArcGIS server in the cloud. And it actually takes you under a few minutes to do this. Think in your situation how many times you'd like to be able to stand up and you have immediate need to access computing power, to do analysis, to scale out your system, to provide additional capability and capacity to your customers, who are your users. We now support this with 10.